increase the risk of genitourinary symptoms or of infection. So that's exciting. Now, as a woman, you'd want to know, does this organism actually reach the vagina and provide benefits? And so if, if we look at studies where we've taken these two organisms and actually inserted this capsule into the vagina, we've shown not only does it colonize for several weeks, and, and remember, this, there's no probiotic that, that will colonize forever. That's not what they're designed to do. You're, what you're trying to do is create an environment where the host, where your own flora of lactobacilli comes back and then takes over and, and maintains health. However, if you take these vaginally, it can uh, colonize the vagina to uh, repopulate the vagina. And we've shown in a study, for example, that if you did this once a week for up to a year, you could reduce urinary tract infections from an average of 6 down to 1.6 or 1.5. Uh, you can't really get a half of a urinary tract infection, but this is on average. And that, that might seem good at, to some people. They may say, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, that uh, I'm getting much fewer infections. But other people might say, well, it doesn't stop. Antibiotics taken every single day doesn't stop you getting a urinary tract infection. It just reduces the risk. And then we've just done a study in a uh, woman at high, highly uh, uh, at risk, or in fact, who have bacterial vaginosis. And we've shown that if you take lactobacilli rhamnosus, uh, GR1, and lactobacillus reuteri RC14, twice a day vaginally for five days, it can actually cure bacterial vaginosis. The problem is we can't say that, uh, uh, we can't make those claims because uh, this has not been approved by the FDA. So what I'm really telling you is scientific clinical studies that have been done but, uh, as I say, you cannot make that claim uh, as it's not been approved by the FDA. So what it has been approved for is oral use, and I'll tell you about that next.